What is up, everyone? Tragic MTG back, and it is time for Dominaria United. Finally, uh, I always get my boxes later than everybody else, so here we go, and we will do the scanner. Uh, at least attempt to. The scanner does not like foils lately, so we'll just do the best. I'm probably gonna focus on the mythics and uh, the rares that I know to be pretty good, and kind of just pile up everything else. And see how I did on this box. We got a box topper and 12 collector boosters um, with the slim possibility of getting a legends card um, and an even slimmer possibility of it being like actually even worth anything so let's go and get into this box topper so these are all reimagined legends i believe uh, which i like that idea a lot it's really cool because those um, old legends were somewhat pretty useless but they just had cool fun flavor and they're classics let's see what we get Ohabi, Calaria for one and a green and a white legendary elf archer with reach. Untap all archers you control. Archer tribal A during each other player's untap step. Whenever an archer you control deals damage to a creature, you may pay two if you do draw a card. All right, don't see that being a big <laughs> useful one or not. Yeah, and the scanner does not like it as a foil. I'm try and use my little I guess, shade setup here. Let's see if that can actually affect it. It does not seem to want to. Moving on. All right, Collector Booster. I really like the stained glass uh, basic land, so I'll be definitely keeping those for myself. Um, I'm actually having a big thought about making a little switch here. I had another uh, former YouTuber clue me in about whatnot. Have you guys heard of whatnot? Uh, I'm thinking I might give it a try. It's like an auction site where you do like a live stream and you sell off your cards and stuff so let me know what you think about that down below if uh, any of you would be interested to watch me do such a thing we got an island here and again this oh, the scanner did like it showcase island is a buck that's great Queen Alanal of Raudok and so now the um, etched foil treatment I think they've done it right by Jove they actually took the etch foil off of the uh, the art itself, and the rest of it's etched. Um, yep, nailed it this time. That looks really good. Um, I, I really like that. No, we don't need a we don't need an update right now. Scanner. Um, cool, cool. I'm all for that. We got a temporal firestorm. Academy lore master might be pretty decent. Um, the scanner doesn't like the full art border of that. Got a Rona, we got a Torwaki, Roga, Kirkeep Overlord, nice. And, oops, well, there's a Chaos of Koilos and a uh, Carpluzen Forest foil borderless pain land. Very nice. Let's see. So the scanner's going to be pretty useless right now. We're just going to have to go off of what we can assume that that might be worth about 10 bucks. Comment down below how far off I am on that. We're just going to go scannerless this time. You guys, I know you're here for the scanner. Let's just move on. I think we know what the big um, pulls out of this set are. Usually, a lot of them are mythics. I've been playing on uh, on arena quite a bit. Uh, I'm no master, but I did make it to gold. I think for the first time I've ever actually tried to hit the ladder, and I'm on into gold now. So I'm actually trying to trying to actually get better at magic. Raf. Yeah, I like this etched foil. The, the non-etched artwork really is doing it for me. We got Runvelt, nice new goblin lord, which there's not a whole lot of goblins in standard right now that are uh, that this is gonna help. But that's a that's a good card for, for like Pioneer, Peregrine Dynamo, Rulik Mons, Jasmine Boreal, and yeah, I don't know where all my I don't know where my piles are. We got Aisha. Maria, so it's the non-etched version of the stained glass. It still looks pretty good. And we got in the dark our wastes. Borderless uh, foil pain lands. They're, they're they're pretty useful in commander also, right? So the pain is lessened when you have 30 life to start with. Wow, the packs are like they're like solidly sealed. Jeez. Put extra glue on these. All right, here we go. All right, so we'll kind of go through the commons a little bit. Relic of Legend, that's cool. We got a full forest. Excellent. 
Loving it. Solar Wing Grace. There we go. That's a nice little hit. So stained glass showcase Solar Wing Grace. Oh, gosh, I wish the scanner would scan that up for me and tell me, but I think it might be worth like 10 or 15 bucks. You tell me down below. Urtai Resurrected. Silverback Elder. We got another uh, Mythic here. This one I think is on the higher end of what's possible. Eight, ten bucks maybe. Tobias. Hayes is on. Revis of the Claw. I've started messing around with this guy actually. There's a, some crazy nonsense you can do with dragons. Temporary Lockdown. This is a token killer. That's a good card right there. All right. Well, a token exiler, let's put it that way, which by definition makes them get killed. Negate. Mountain. Threats undetected. Worm Speaker. Aaron. Yesha. Jaya. Fiery Negotiator and Aratus Firebrand. Jaya. Very nice. Very nice. Of course, we want a Liliana, don't we? Tearing it up in standard. Just wrecking the format. Mono Black just taking over. Bonus Splinters. I like, I like that art on that Bonus Splinters. Not gonna lie. Plains. Tatyova. Arena. Leyline Binding. This one right here. Uh, I play a Zer deck right now. Because um, I'm, I'm just not hip enough to play Mono Black. And this is a Domain Bomb right there. Rasputin. The Oniromancer. Gleeful Spell Thief. And Roboran Mercenaries. Alright. <clears throat> Will I get a moss monster? Will I get a, a glyph, a, like a white glyph or something from Legends? Whoops, oh my gosh. Hold on. Something falling apart here. Swarm. The Iconoclast is pretty good for Gruel Haste. Planes. We got an Uri. There we go. Liliana of the Veil. We got a uh, uh, foil non showcase version. Still, sick right there. Valiant Veteran. Argiven Recruiter. The Younger. Squee. And a Rift Liberated Primeval. And an Urtai Resurrected. That's a pretty good pack right there, I think. Well, Mythics. Some Showcases. Alright, very solid. Oh, gosh. These packs, I tell ya. They're tough to get into. Runes Vortex, Mountain, Defiler of Vigor. The Defilers is the good one, right? Vidalian Hex Catcher, Lagamos. Yeah. Now this one's not etched, but it still looks pretty good. Pietro, Assassin. We got a Johnny Sleeper Agent. Nice. I haven't played. I haven't messed around with that one yet. Nomada, Primeval Warden. This actually is. Would probably be, would be getting commander. Kill your opponent's creatures and you get sapperlings for it, and then you can do stuff with the sapperlings. Um, sleeper card right there. Oh, man, that's like, I'm not joking. These packs are just fully, fully sealed. Like, they put like holographic glue on there. Can you believe that? Totally new thing right there. Look out. Faith Bonder, no legends, got planes. Joyra, Ageless Innovator. Yeah, the etching on the on the border. That's that's the way you do these. And you leave the stained glass nice and clear. Ball Sleeper, Knight the Coalition. So these are the commander versions. Yeah. Elves Dragon, Calaria, the Raven Man, whoever that is, and the Vidalian Hexcatcher. Raven Man looks pretty cool in stained glass. All right. Okay. Come on. I feel like I'm getting clumsier, in fact, like trying to open packs as the years go by here. So I become an old man. I got Forest. A Garna. Good. I love the stained glass. Chandler. Emperor Mihail II. Merfolk Noble. I haven't, seen, I haven't checked out all the commander cards. Merfolk spells from the top of your library. You may pay one. You make a token. Yeah, no, that seems pretty good for a command of Merfolk Commander. Aeronaut 
Okay, sweet. There's a Yavamaya Coast and a drag to the bottom box topper. Very cool. Yeah. Get some goods here, I think. Full of nice alternate versions. Uh, I think the set has a pretty nice power level. I mean, it's full of legends and pretty uh, interesting stuff. We got uh, fetchable basics now. Basic dual tap lands, I mean. Got Island, Baird, Maria, Stronghold Arena. Stuff's all falling over. Let me do something about that. Here we go. Bortic. Got Bortic. Mirrors again. We got some Savitri Dragon Master. So there's a nice commander. Foil uh, Planeswalker. So I'm not sure if that's a big one or not, but it's pretty solid. Ramses. And Darian, and we didn't get like a box topper style. We got a foil um, showcase for the last slot there. Okay, all right, okay, all right. All right, here we go. Take up the shield. Morrow, good old Morrow. Let's go Swamp, Nail, Shanna, Purifying Blade, okay. Archangel of Wrath, another one in my Zer deck, uh, which works out pretty good. Urtai, Shieldred, the Apocalypse. This is an annoying card to play against, I'll tell you. I've run into this several times, and um, really punishes you for drawing some cards. And the tech, even the texture on this one seems a little weird. Herd Migration, and last pack, let's see. Do we get a Legends out of this box? Kind of doesn't seem like it. Here's our last chance at it. Sorry, I'm, I'm pretty happy with all the mythics and stuff, so I'm not going to add them up for you guys. I'm sorry. I just don't have the time for all that, so we'll see how that goes. Or you guys can tell me down below. What do you think I got? Squee, Dubious Mark. There's the symbols of Titan. The Titans. Zerium Golden Wind. Balmor. Bell's Dragon. Zyra the Golden Sting. Torsten and Quirion Beast Collar. I like this card too. Legendary. I thought I was going to flip over. When it uh, enters the battlefield, reveal the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of creature and or land cards from among them into your hand. The rest on the bottom of your library in the random order. When it dies, create seven one one white soldier creature tokens. Interesting. Yeah, it costs a lot, but it's got possibilities. There we go. One collector booster box of Dominaria United. Fun times, lots of stained glass, lots of nostalgia. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Tragic MTG. Maybe look for me on the Whatnot app coming up soon. I've got a ton of cards to sell, and I really need to actually get them moving. So, I'm kind of checking that out and seeing if that was an avenue for me to do that. So, stay tuned. Bye.